Imagine a world plunged into darkness, not by nightfall, but by the sun's wrath. High above us, beyond the blue sky and drifting clouds lurks a silent but formidable force, solar storms. These are no ordinary tempests, but colossal eruptions of electromagnetic energy from the sun, capable of hurling billions of tons of plasma across the solar system at unimaginable speeds. Solar storms are as unpredictable as they are powerful. They rise from the sun's fiery heart, gathering strength before bursting forth in a spectacle of light and energy. It's a cosmic performance that, while breathtaking, harbors potential calamities for Earth. The severity of these solar outbursts can vary dramatically. Some merely graze our planet, causing slight disruptions, while others could potentially cripple our technological infrastructure and plunge global civilizations into chaos. Now, as the sun beams down quietly, one might wonder, how could such a familiar sight threaten our very existence? To understand this celestial threat, we must first travel 93 million miles away, straight to the sun. It's not just a glowing orb in the sky, but a tempestuous powerhouse of magnetic activity. At its heart, the sun is a maelstrom of hydrogen and helium undergoing nuclear fusion that creates light and heat. But there's more to it than just warmth and luminosity. Imagine the sun's magnetic fields as vast, invisible threads weaving around its surface. These fields are not static, they're dynamic and constantly shifting. As the sun rotates, these magnetic fields twist and turn. Occasionally, they become so twisted that they snap, releasing incredible amounts of energy in what we call a solar storm. Now let's delve into the types of solar emissions unleashed during these storms. First, we have solar flares. These are intense bursts of radiation that can be so powerful they light up the Earth's sky with stunning auroras, yet also potent enough to disrupt radio communications. Next are the coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. These are massive bubbles of gas threaded with magnetic field lines that are ejected from the sun's corona. When these hit the Earth, they can trigger geomagnetic storms capable of knocking out satellites and power grids. Lastly, we explore solar energetic particles. These are high-energy particles accelerated by solar flare explosions or shock waves driven by CMEs. They zip through space at nearly the speed of light and can endanger astronauts in high-altitude flights. Together, these solar emissions form a complex and fascinating aspect of solar physics. They are not merely scientific curiosities. Their impacts can be felt directly on our technology and daily lives. With such explosive violence, the sun ejects these energies into space and sometimes their target is Earth. So what happens when these titanic waves of energy meet our planet? Imagine colossal bursts of solar energy hurtling through space at unimaginable speeds, only to collide with the invisible shield that surrounds Earth. This shield, our planet's magnetic field, acts like a cosmic bouncer, diverting and distorting the solar storm's harmful effects. As these charged particles from the sun slam into Earth's magnetic field, they set off a dazzling display of lights known as the Aurora Borealis in the north and the Aurora Australis in the south. These lights aren't just a beautiful spectacle. They are the visible manifestations of a fierce battle between solar energy and our planet's protective barrier. The interaction creates these brilliant hues by energizing particles in the atmosphere, causing them to glow. But the impact of a solar storm extends beyond this natural light show. The same energy that paints the sky can wreak havoc on the infrastructure humans depend on. Satellites, vital for everything from GPS navigation to weather forecasting, can be disrupted or even damaged by these energetic particles. This isn't just an inconvenience. In today's world, where logistics, communications and even financial transactions are satellite dependent, such disruptions could lead to significant economic turmoil. Moreover, the surge of particles can induce electric currents here on Earth that can overload and even bring down power grids. Imagine cities without power, hospitals without equipment, and transport systems in disarray. The cascading effects of such an event could be catastrophic, paralyzing entire nations. Communications, too, bear the brunt of solar storms. Radio signals, crucial for aircraft and ships can be distorted or completely drowned out by the storm's interference, posing serious risks in transportation and emergency responses. 
while the skies light up with ethereal glows down below, our world of technology could come to a sudden halt. Imagine every light, every phone, every mode of transport simply stops. This isn't the plot of a dystopian novel. It's a potential reality if Earth were struck by a massive solar storm, akin to the Carrington event of 1859. Back then, the world witnessed a powerful geomagnetic storm that set telegraph systems aflame and caused widespread communications failures. But that was a time when the technological footprint was minimal. Today, our world is intricately woven with threads of technology, each thread vulnerable to the whims of solar activity. In the face of a solar storm of similar magnitude today, the effects would be catastrophic. Our reliance on GPS for navigation, banking systems for financial transactions, and satellites for communication means everything could grind to a halt. The Internet, a backbone of modern civilization, could face unprecedented disruption. Consider the impact on hospitals, where life-saving equipment relies on stable power supplies. Or the transportation sector, where electronic systems govern everything from traffic lights to aircraft operations. The ripple effect of a solar storm could paralyze urban centers, leaving millions stranded without basic necessities. The economic impact would be just as severe. A report by the National Academy of Sciences suggests that a major solar storm could inflict economic damage comparable to a major global recession, costing the global economy trillions of dollars. Recovery wouldn't be a matter of days or weeks. It could take years to rebuild the damaged infrastructure. This scenario underscores our vulnerability to solar phenomena. It highlights the need for robust protective measures and improved forecasting techniques. Without these, in a flash of solar anger, centuries of progress could be undone. But it's not just our gadgets. The very web life hangs in. When solar storms unleash their might upon our planet, the ripples extend far beyond fried circuits and darkened screens. <laughs> These celestial disturbances have profound effects on Earth's ecology, influencing everything from animal navigation to climate patterns. Consider the migratory birds and sea turtles, all of Earth's magnetic field for navigation. Solar storms disrupt these magnetic cues, causing confusion and leading these creatures astray. This not only jeopardizes the survival, but also the systems that them. For instance, when bees fail to pollinate, entire crops can suffer, leading to shortages in the food supply. Moreover, the increased radiation from solar storms can affect plant growth, eventually altering photosynthesis. This change could ripple through food chains, impacting both wild agricultural ecosystems. Are less capable of absorbing carbon dioxide, exacerbating the greenhouse effect and contributing to climate change. The oceans are not spared either. Increased ultraviolet rate can damage phytoplankton, the food web. A decline in these microscopic organisms would have a cascading effect on fish populations, marine biodiversity, and global fishing industries. As the currents of technology falter, so too could the rhythms of nature. In the face of solar storms, it's not protecting our electronic infrastructure, but safeguarding the intricate and delicate balances within our natural world. Faced with such a cosmic siege, how does humanity stand a chance? The answer lies partly in our ability to predict and shield against the formidable power of solar storms. Let's delve into the current strategies and technologies that fortify our world against these celestial disturbances. At the forefront of our defense are space weather satellites, like the NOAA's GOES series, which stand sentinel in geostationary orbits. These technological marvels monitor the sun's activity, providing critical data that feed into models predicting when and where solar storms might strike. This advance warning is vital, giving us precious time to safeguard critical infrastructure and prepare response strategies. On the ground, power grids, the lifelines of modern civilization, are being reinforced. 
Engineers are designing systems that can withstand sudden geomagnetic disturbances by installing robust transformers and creating rapid shutdown protocols. This isn't just about preventing blackouts. It's about preserving our way of life during solar onslaughts. Internationally, collaboration flourishes as countries unite under initiatives like the International Space Weather Initiative. This global partnership enhances our collective knowledge and preparedness, sharing data and strategies to buffer the worst impacts of solar tempests. Research is ongoing. Scientists are exploring innovative materials and technologies that can offer even better protection for satellites and infrastructure. Each breakthrough brings us closer to a resilient stance against the solar fury. With ingenuity and cooperation, we prepare not just to survive, but to thrive. As we gaze up into the vastness of space, our challenge seems as immense as the stars themselves. Throughout this exploration, we've uncovered the silent yet formidable power of solar storms. These celestial tempests possess the capacity to paralyze our technological infrastructure, plunging our world into darkness and disrupting the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. Imagine a world where the flicker of lights going out is not just an inconvenience, but a prelude to a cascade of failures across global networks. The threat extends beyond mere loss of electrical power. It challenges our very ability to sustain modern civilization as we know it. This is why the pursuit of knowledge and the preparation for such events cannot be overstated. Investing in advanced monitoring systems, enhancing our technological resilience, and fostering global cooperation in space weather research are crucial steps towards safeguarding our future. For an understanding the sun's fury, we may ensure that its light continues to nurture rather than destroy.